Hey guys, it's David here, I'm going to part for that part 2, which is the playlist of the basic trance tutorial. <clears throat> so we've got our pattern, which is the pattern 1. So I'm going to start the song off, and this is your playlist, this is how the songs will work, so see if we did that. That will replay the first part in twice. And then it will replay play all over again. So, say you want to add a different thing, let's just keep this bass line going. Let's say four beats in, I want to add this once. And let it just keep playing. And then add it again here. Just to, so it's just not the same thing, so it'll keep going like that. So that's what it'll do. And that just sounds like a nice intro for the song. So once that's done doing what you want to do, you can actually add sounds or lyrics into it. You can click default. Type your text here. Right click and click open in sampler channel. Now the default text is type your text here. You want to just type in and click listen. Tutorial. T -t -t Tutorial. You can change it. The personality of the voice, so you can do it like a robot, robot, robotoid. Tutorial. Which is the one I used. Go on, fast red. Tutorial. Oh, you can use old Tutorial. One. That sounds pretty cool. Let's save it, just save it there. And now you've added it. Go like that, and click that once. And add that there. So when that's playing, I'll go like that. Tutorial. And then you can start adding effects into it. So the oscillator is a really cool thing to use. So the oscillator was pattern two, wasn't it? Let's just drag that there, as I did with the baseline thing. Now this is where it gets a bit confusing and a bit tougher if you're new to the game. New to the game. New to the the program. So you right click on your timeline from where this starts or where you want it to start and you drag it to about two um, thingies, can't remember what they're called now but I'll figure them out in a minute and then when you've done that you click the free ask and you click function no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, shut up, shut up click the drop down arrow at the top and click assign free mixer track now, this adds the free exhaust to the mixer so you can edit the volume, which is really good because instead of doing the master volume so everything goes down, you can just change this down. So you right click on the button thing and click create an automation clip. You can remove all this now. And this just shows a bar, straight bar, which can be quite pointless. Pointless, what I'm talking about, like confusing. So this is just the volume, that's volume at the lowest node, that's volume at quite, quite the highest, about 70-80%. I want it to go a bit lower than that, about 75 And this bar here can just change how it goes there, so this will go really quiet, really quiet, really quiet, really loud, really loud, really loud. This one will go quite loud, 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 and I'll continue that beat. Of course you want it to go like that, because that, that feels a bit nicer. You know what I mean, like it sounds better, instead of just getting in there straight away. But we could try it, it some, works on some songs, this doesn't work on every type of song. This probably works better in dubstep or whatever, techno, hard style, whatever. This feels a bit better on trance. And this is where you can play with the effects, I'm no good at playing with effects. But, once this has been playing a bit, just add that bit more, go to about here, it's not meant to sound good by the way, the tutorial thing, it's just meant to sound like it's done, so it's not really long. 
So if you want to, you can change the release to that. Click create an automation clip and increase the release. Now let's just listen to this. Tutorial. It's getting quite loud. The release does not need that high humidity. That was just an idea you could have used. So it stopped now. That hurt my ears as well. Let's just take that again and let's have a little play around again. You don't want the release that high, so just go like that. Go on to this again. You can play with the feed again, like I did with the bass line, and it can just. I, you can right click on it, create an automation clip obviously, and, and go go over it, don't go too far because it will sound a bit dit silly, so this would be pretty good. If it does this, if it does like it does it when you're not meant to do it, just go back to the start of the whole thing and make another clip of the oscillator and right click create an automation clip and that's meant to go right down to the bottom. That see it's not down to the bottom. See, so it will do some echo. Let's listen to the whole thing. So let's actually edit this bit, just so it's not the same all the way through. But you don't want the same song to go all the way through. Let's just no, that. Let's go about here. No, we don't want three. We want two. So let's go of the kick. Let's just increase the re the feedback just a bit. Just so it's not too silly. This is when this is when it's almost well in dubstep you'd say drop. I don't know what you would call it in trance. So let's increase this even more by two again and go into club kick open that great normal automation clip and a bit more 
Not too much though. Just keep it going at a constant rate. Just so it's not going too much. And then the final one will go here. Create an automation clip again. On the feed. Just at the maximum one. Just so it's about to drop. And when it does, it will just sound all of them together. So, mm, let's just give it two things. And then add them all together. And this is where you might want to edit the volume of this. Here. Of the pattern 3, because I found that really loud. So, click that. Do the same thing, I assign to a mixer. And right click on the auto one, create an automation clip, and let's just lower this. And then lower the other side. Just so it's even. So it doesn't go up or down. Now, this should edit the volume, maybe on the, old, on the whole thing. Let's just hear it, see what it automatically we find any, any you know, what do you want to call it an um, error let's just create an automation clip that should be at the bottom yet it should, I don't know what's going on here hold on and you want to record it, then you'll record it while having the um, channel settings open so you can keep this low. That's my only advice. So if that does happen, some, it shouldn't happen, but it did happen. I don't really know how to change it. But yeah, it's been, hopefully this has helped give you a tutorial with three basic things, baseline of trance, baseline kind of thing, and a in itself so hopefully sounds as good and thanks for watching